Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director, looking at some of the advanced but often neglected tools that are available in this terrific little program. One very nice tool is a semi-automatic way for taking your raw footage and turning it into an exciting and interesting video. The program does most of the heavy lifting using artificial intelligence to pick out the best segments from your clips. And it can even mix it down with music so that it's the same length as the music and turn your raw footage into a very nice little music video. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to select by selecting the media room and pressing control A. I'm going to select all the clips that are in my media room. This is raw footage of a trip to Carolina to see my sister and her family. And when I drag it all down to the timeline, you can see it runs just about, it looks to me like about 13 minutes long here. So that's a lot of footage. A lot of it is kind of wasted. A lot of it is, it's raw footage, right? Some things are interesting, some things less so. Well, to use Magic Cut, we're just going to drag across here to select all the clips that are on the timeline. And from the Tools Function button, we're going to select the option to open the Magic Cut tool. Now the Magic Cut tool has two parts. Uh, one part is criteria. We'll click on that tab. And in the criteria, you set what is most important to you in your video. What is it that's most interesting, most important? I'd like to get video with people speaking. I like to get video with people in them. I'm not that interested in crazy zooms and pans. We can scan those back. We'll even make sure that the clips are very brief. So again, you set your sliders. What is the criteria you want the program to use in trimming down these clips? Then we're going to duration and we can manually set any duration we want. You can see that by default, the program looks at this over 13 minutes worth of video clips. And it says I could probably turn that into about five minutes worth, but we're going to challenge it even more. So I'm going to select the add music button, this little note with the plus next to it down the lower right of the background music panel. So we'll click on that and then we can browse to any music we want to use. Just going to grab something here. Oh, you can't go wrong with Lou Graham. Lou Graham, Midnight Blue. Very nice song. And it's three minutes and 43 seconds. So I'm going to click on the option to fit duration to background music. It's not necessarily going to cut to the rhythm of the music, but it is going to trim the video so that it's the same length as the song. It's also going to look at every single one of these clips and it's going to use my criteria to pick the best moments from these clips. So what we should see is something very tightly cut turned into a very compact little three and three quarter minute long video. Oh, by the way, I'm going to uncheck the option to automatically apply transitions between the clips. I don't particularly like the transitions. I like it just when I get nice cuts from video clip to video clip. Now it's going to take a while for this to do its thing because as I say, it's going to look at every single one of these clips. I found it usually takes about the length of the movie on your timeline. So it's going to take about 13 minutes for the program to do what it needs to do. But let's click apply and then we'll check back in here in about 10, 15 minutes. All right, so here we are back again. It took about 10 minutes for it to do it. And you can see now we have a video that is only about three minutes and 40 seconds long, just as the song is. There's our video on the timeline. And if we scroll down far enough down at the bottom, there's our song. And just so that we don't hear the audio from the video along with the song, I'm going to go to the timeline here on the left, the timeline header for the audio. I'm going to turn off the audio track. I did that by clicking on that eyeball. So now the only sound we'll hear will be the sound of the music playing and we'll be able to watch the video too. Let's see the video that this artificial intelligence cut together based on the song and taking the best, based on my criteria, the best moments from each one of the clips. Let's see how it looks. So you can see it actually did a pretty good job. And if we were just to sort of spot check it, look at some of the other segments. In the pouring rain, I won't say where, don't know when. Just as my criteria specified that I want to see a lot of faces, I want to see a lot of people talking to each other, uh, that's what became the priority 
when the program looked through each of the clips and created a segment or cut it, the clip down so that only the best moments from each clip are in there. A very cool tool, often neglected and forgotten here in the program, but a very cool and very smart tool. If you want to know more about all the tools that are available here in CyberLink Power Director, you want to check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about CyberLink Power Director Ultimate, you'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. I'm the guy who wrote the book. It's available on Amazon.com, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.